wazee wetu wa utamaduni mfunze watu wetu wajue sheria hakuna mzee anazaa na mtoto yake hakuna ndugu anazaa na dada yake mambo ya incest ikome katika kaunti hii na mwemesema vizuri umesema pombe na kama ni pombe dia inakufanya urepu dada yako ama ndugu yako ukome uachane na pombe tu ikiwa tunataka Kenya iwe nzuri tutii sheria tuheshimu sheria na yeye amekuja hapa kwa utamaduni na amesema vile nimeerudia nilikuwa na mnakuli amesema kwamba tutii sheria kwa hivyo wewe ambao uko hapa na umepewa nafasi ya kuhudumia wananchi kwa serikali ya kitaifa kwa serikali ya county kwa shule kwa hospitali umesikia mkuu wa mashtaka akisema hapa tafadhali usiende ukaibe pesa ya umma na useme kwamba kwa sababu yeye ana alizaliwa sehemu hii ataniokoa hapana hakuna tuti nini tuti nini a good country is a country that respects the rule of law and corruption free na tukiona tukiona wale wanafanya shida mnaona katika nchi zingine za hata jirani huko you can see there is chaos in some of the neighboring countries because they have refused to respect the law and they did not go by the law and violence has erupted in those countries so we must respect the law and the rule of law kwa hivyo tufanye kazi na tuungane and i want to tell you that we shall not let you down i personally will make sure that we live up to what we commit na kama ni magumu ni vizuri tuje mapema tuambie hapa tumeona imekuwa ngumu so that we talk the truth nilikuwa naambia wazee sasa katika bara la Afrika katika Kenya na hata katika Western Province kwa wakati huu wengi ambao wako 68 to 70% of the population average is 20 years to be to be precise 19.6 miaka 19 na nusu ndio average ya kila mtu katika Kenya and it reflects in Africa sasa 30% ndio sisi mimi msalia na hawa wengine ambao wamekaa hapa na hawa wazee ambao tuko nao siku ya leo sisi tumebaki ile 30% majority 70% are the younger generation the youth kwa hivyo eh hey, ndio hiyo vijana pawa ndio hivyo na mimi nilifurahi naona siloya anaingia kwa vijana mimi nataka niwaambie lengo letu tulenge wale vijana tulenge 70% tulenge 70% planning yetu fikira zetu mipangilio zetu resources zetu tulenge wale 70% tunaelewana kabisa tunataka mwaka huu tusukume zaidi tukishirikiana na county government na viongozi wa hapa ili tufanye restoration ya Maragoli Hills kwenda paka Bunyore kwa sababu tumeona hatari ya kuumiza mambo ya mazingira na tumepanga mwezi wa Februari tukienda huko mbele March tunataka tuwe na mashindano ya baiskeli wale vijana wanajua kabisa kuendesha baiskeli there is a planning team that will be working na hiyo ni kuanza ku promote awareness ya hiyo Maragoli Forest alafu baadaye tunataka ikifika karibu June ama July tuwe pia na marathon ya Maragoli Hills low level low altitude marathon watu wakimbie huku tutafute wale marathoners wa kiulimwengu 
wengine waje hapa ili tuanze kusherekea and to also restore that forest kwa sababu tunajua shida ya kuharibu mazingira ni mbaya tumeona a lot of losses katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali. kwa hivyo jambo hilo tuliangalie mimi nataka pia niwaambie kwamba kulikuwa na miradi fulani ambayo bado tunataka tufate nataka tuzidi kufuatilia ile kidundu stadium nataka tuzidi kufuatilia hata huko ibunangwe upande huo tunataka stadium na hata hamisi tunataka stadium haya ni mambo tunataka sisi wote tusukume tuende mbele rais wa jamhuri ya kenya alikuwa hapa akazindua barabara pale mago kera walikuwa wamepatiana kwa contractor fulani huyo contractor akakuwa mzembe akakuwa mlegai tumewasukumwa waondoe huyo contractor sasa wataleta contractor mwingine kuanzia february tutakuwa na contractor mwingine akamilishe hiyo kazi na yule mzembe aende pahali pengine tunataka tusukume mambo ibadilike katika eneo hii ya kimaendeleo kwa sababu katika eneo hii na mimi nataka wanahabari wa